Today we have an Acura MDX amplifier in the shop. This is from a 2007. Uh, if you need removal help, see our website, Car Stereo Removal, for access to the amplifier along with any other removal guides we might have available that you may need. And do-it-yourself repairs. But we're going to show you how to uh, repair this amplifier. Uh, what we have is snapping and popping through the amplifier and audio system. We're going to start at the end of the amplifier that has the two connectors and remove one screw here center above the connector on the right. Now what this is going to do is release the front part of the amplifier when it comes to remove it. We're going to remove uh, four screws here along the opposite end of the connectors. Uh, these are what secure the circuit board and um, and the uh, output amplifiers to, to the side of the uh, the amplifier, which we'll get to these screws in a minute as well. But the board is secured to this end panel by a screw that's uh, behind the panel here. You'll see that once we get it out. Now we've got the four screws around the uh, edges here removed. It seems like our do-it-yourself repairs for a lot of equipment here lately seems to be somewhat repetitious uh, with replacing capacitors and upgrading and so on. Um, we should have a video out soon for several other do-it-yourself repairs for the Acura amplifiers. Again, see our website, carstereoremoval.com. Now, these four screws along the edge here, these screws are all differently different, so you can't get them mixed up. But these four screws here secure the uh, audio chips to the side of the case, so that the heat, when it works, is dissipated through the rest of the... the uh, heat sink. Now we've got the one screw removed in the front. We should be able to slide this circuit board right out. Now in order to not put any stress on this board as we're working on it, we're going to remove these two more screws here in the uh, on the end that secures the uh, circuit board. This way we'll take a little bit of a, a difference here out in case we, we don't want to take a chance at cracking the circuit board or anything. Now, this is going to remove this. The screws, like I say, have pretty much all been pretty simple. But this is what we're left with, is the amplifier. Uh, the problem here, like I said earlier, is usually something to do with uh, all the... Uh, everything seems to be having the same problem in it. The problem here, we've been through this amplifier. We've checked the components in it. The problem with it is all the electrolytic components here through the entire stereo or excuse me, amplifier, uh, they're either right at specs or below. So we're going to replace all these uh, components, make a map of them first, check their values, uh, check the uh, polarity of each component. Okay, now we have stripped all the components out of the board, cleaned them all up. But before we stripped all the components up, we did draw a diagram of the layout for the circuit board. We also included their values at each each uh, portion, each component's value, and of course the polarity in which they go. So now we're going to repopulate the board with new components. Okay, now we have repopulated the board with our components. We did go through and color code our, our chart so it made it easier to find where all the components went. And we're going to slide it back into the case here. Uh, we did notice that soldering some of these capacitors in place, that there are some tiny components towards them. Make sure you don't lose any of these tiny components. And there was one spot here uh, on the circuit board uh, for a capacitor. There was not an original one there, but there's a Mark IV one there for this circuitry. But that is a blank one, in not to throw you off. Uh, for a full library removal guide, see our website, carstereoremoval.com. For other do-it-yourself repairs, follow the link through to your year and model car. Should find a, be able to locate any information we have on it. Please subscribe. Comments are welcome. If you have questions, call or email us. Thank you for watching.